fleet of off-road vehicles, jeeps, to look at uh, rural Cyprus. So we're setting off in a big fleet of off-road vehicles to really get to look what Cyprus really is um, when you really get into it. Cypriot style. There's the resort we were at. I'll film when it gets interesting. The lovely coastline. I don't really know if you, if you want me to be honest with you. I don't know. Yeah, be honest, I be honest. I, I tell you why, because we are a group. Yeah. So the leader with the rep, we follow. Yeah. Okay, so we better not lose him then. No, no. <laughs> okay, so, okay. Oh, Missouri. Aphrodite rock? Yes. yes. Okay. They are born, as opposed to Aphrodite. Oh, birthplace of Aphrodite down yes. here, is it? Okay. Aphrodite comes from two words. Right. Aphros, yes. the froth. Yes. And the D is the bottom. So, so that's Aphrodite it then. Comes from the bottom Aphrodite the rock. Okay. These people are all looking down on that area where Aphrodite was born. We're going to stop and have a look at it, okay. Right, so. Feed at the end for a coffee break, but uh, to the museums and the villages we're going to be exchanging, yeah? So we are five jeeps at all times, at the time being. So here we stop just for five minutes for you to have a view of those rocks you see there by the distance. You see three rocks, one right behind the other. Now the first one that touches the beach is what we call rock of the Greek. <laughs> it was necessary to scare people off. Now, people go to Nicosia, they see a mountain that looks like five fingers. It's like that. And they say that that man took that rock, once he saw the Arabs coming close to the coast, he took that rock with his bare hands and he threw it all the way from there to here. And that's how that mountain was formed. And that's why that big rock is there. Now, the most important though is the second rock, which is behind it. You see the middle one, like three rocks put together? That's what we call rock of Aphrodite. According to the ancient Greeks and the Greek mythology, the goddess of love and beauty rose from the foams of the sea. And that's why she was called Aphrodite. Aphro in Greek means foam, and Dite, D, D means rising. So she rises from the foams of the sea here, which is a debate that we always have with the Greek groups. If there were Greeks here, there would be an argument. I'm glad it's not. <laughs> Greeks might agree because they say Venus was uh, born in Githira. But according to the Greek mythology, and it's a fact, you have to believe me, <laughs> uh, she passed by from Githira, but she rose from here. It's been described in Homer, Helias, if you know, the famous poet of uh, ancient Greek. Uh, and for Kilias and Odyssey Ulysses, he describes uh, Venus as a Cypriot goddess. And here we have the whole cult of Aphrodite. We have her temple of the 12th century BC that makes it 3,000 years old temple, which is very near to the hotel you're staying. That's why it's called Aphrodite Hill. Anyway, uh, the temple is in ruins, of course. You don't expect to go there and see a temple and walk in. Uh, but it's uh, protected by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. And now these days, the archaeologists found bones of animals all gathered around because there were sacrifices, there were rituals here, up in the temple, um, and the festivities, the Aphrodisia festivities, uh, which was some what we call today uh, orgies, if you would. And that was a great income for Paphos' uh, kingdom, because it attracted a lot of people there. And actually, oh, okay. 
Before we go, I would like to say only that people still come today. I see some people down there by the beach when the weather is okay. They swim, they go around the rock three times because they believe, they say, this is how you stay young and beautiful. And it only works for the ladies. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she was a goddess. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. Uh, it works for the ladies and they bring them here to swim three times around the rock to stay beautiful and young. And men also go. But it doesn't work. Really <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry. You know, it's a, it's a ladies' island. What can I say? So, if you would like to take your pictures at every stop, if you have any questions, anything you want to ask me. So there you go, Rock of Aphrodite, where Aphrodite is supposed to have been born, yeah, per legend. <laughs> and charge for it. All right. <laughs> no. So you just take right. pictures, and then we can be on our way. Rising from the foam, and the foam's still here. <laughs>